First, the part is thoroughly cleaned, rinsed and surface etched. This requires several baths in a variety of detergents, acids, alkalis, desmutting agents and pure water. Then it's placed into an electrolytic solution, which is usually chromic acid for type 1 anodizing. The target piece is connected to the positive side of the circuit, making it the anode, while the negative side is attached to a sacrificial donor plate or cathode. Once DC current is applied, positive and negative ions dissolve in the solution and are immediately attracted to the opposite poles to form the barrier layer. The electric charge causes pores to form on and below the surface of the aluminium as excess ions escape. Interestingly, these pores make a geometrically regular pattern and form deeper columns as more current is applied. The aluminium thus exposed combines with the free oxygen radicals in the solution to form aluminium oxide. This is the barrier layer.